Hello everyone, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to move your Final Cut projects to an external hard drive. Alright, so this process is going to involve three steps. First, we're going to have to find the project that we want to move or copy over. And secondly, we're going to create a new library on our external hard drive to store it in. And thirdly, we're going to move or copy the project over. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so if we take a look at the top left corner of the screen here, you'll see that I have my local library open. Now, as the name implies, this library is stored locally on my Mac's internal drive. Inside this library, I have various events. I have a short fashion film, a Nest Mini unboxing, as well as a Final Cut tutorial. And inside of each of these events is an associated project that we can edit and play right here in our project timeline. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is find a project that we want to move or copy over to our external hard drive. So let's say I want to choose this one here. This only includes a few short clips, so we'll be quick to copy over. Next, you're going to want to make sure that your project is selected. Next, we're going to go up into the file menu. And from here, we have two options. We either have the option to copy the project or to move the project. Now, in both cases, Final Cut is going to select the project as well as all of its associated media, meaning any media that's used in that project. So that can include clips text, voiceovers, images, anything that it may include. Now, if we choose to copy the project over to a different library, this is a great way to create a backup or also to create archives of a given project. As in this case, you'll have two copies of the project, both on your local library, as well as on your external library. Now, if you choose to move the project over to the library, this is a great way to clear space on your current library, as this will take the project and all of the before mentioned associated media and move it away from your local library and store it on the external library, which will save storage on your local library. Now the processes for both of these is identical, but in this case we're going to be showing the move project option. Now you may already have a new library on your external drive, and if you do this will show up here. If you don't, like I do, we're going to create a new library. After clicking create new library, a small finder window will open up, and from here we're going to choose where to store this new library. In this case we'll use the external drive, so we'll go ahead and find that. As you can see, all that's currently in my drive are some time machine backups, however, no libraries yet. So let's go ahead and rename this as well. Now, when you rename your library, make sure you do not rename the file extension, or in other words, the .fcp bundle section. However, the word untitled and anything before that can be renamed. Now, to clearly differentiate between our libraries, we're going to call this external library. There we go. Once you're done, press save. Alright, so from here a pop-up window will appear and this will give you the option to also include optimized media and proxy media. Now, as I mentioned before, as standard Final Cut is going to copy the project as well as all the media that is used within that project. So everything you need will be carried over. So there's no need to select these options unless you need to. And from here, we're going to go ahead and press OK. All right, so Final Cut is now moving the project and media over to our new library. Now, this shouldn't take very long, but will depend on how large the project is. In my case, it was only a few clips, so only took a few seconds to do. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the top left corner of the screen, once again, we now have two libraries. As you can see, we have the external library, which is the one we just created and the one that's stored on our external drive. And we still have, of course, the local library, which is the one that's running internally on our Mac. And you can see they're both running at the same time. Now, as standard, Final Cut requires there to be at least one event in each library. Therefore, it automatically created an event in the library we just made, and it's just named it as today's date. And of course, we can go ahead and change this to whatever we like. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and change this to fashion film. Now, because we chose to move the project over from our local drive to the external drive, if we go back to the local drive and go to that previous event, fashion film, you'll see that the project is no longer there as this is now only in the external library and as you can see it is stored right here we can go ahead and open this and we can go ahead and edit and work from this project as we would if it were stored on our local drive now to further prove that this is the case what we're going to do is actually close our local library so we can go ahead and select it right click and select close library as you can see, Final Cut is now entirely running from the external library, in other words, our external drive, and you'll see that the media still plays back with no issue, and we can edit as we would if this were stored on our local drive. If you want to learn how to move events or libraries to an external hard drive, I have separate tutorials for this as well, which I'll leave linked in the description. Thank you for watching.